Right, so today I'm pretty excited because I'm in the, um, sort of the planning stages of, uh, my next upgrade, which is the first really, like, big upgrade since maybe 2014. Uh, the, 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 um, computer swaps and stuff I've done in that time have more or less been, you know, the same amount of power, but this time it's going to be a, sub, like, a substantial, uh, difference in power this time around. Okay, so I've got all the pieces together, and I'm pretty much ready to start building. Uh, I'm not really sure what I want to start with exactly, but uh, I guess I'll figure that out in a moment. And from GameStop, $350 pre-owned on sale for $315 if you have the power-up rewards program. I've decided not to film the whole thing just because I want to enjoy it, so... um. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop the CPU in there just for fun. Uh, like, look at the. See the pins? Fucking hell. It's been so long since I've had, like, a, um. Whatever, a zip pin socket CPU. Um, sort of weird. And these are really dense as well. Like, there's a lot more of them than on. Um, than on the FX series of chips. Um, okay, so where's my arrow? Cool. That's the uh, CPU in there, I guess. Looks like there's like film on it. All right, but could you imagine that though? Could you imagine like putting the because it uh, well, there's a thing that it looks like there's like film on there still. But like, could you imagine like, there isn't actually film on there? But like, could you imagine if there was film on there and you just sort of. Like, you know, you put the thermal paste on, you still got this plastic film over it, though, and you actually run it. And you just have this, like, plastic melting all the time. Ugh, anyways. Cool. Okay, so I'm just in the middle of the build, and I just opened the uh, the uh, radiator, uh, the the, uh, the water cooler, and it turns out it's two 140 millimeter fans. I was expecting two 120 millimeter fans, like that sort of dimensions. So I'm actually gonna have to rework a little bit and figure out how to melt how to mount this the best way. So I ended up actually mounting it above where it was before. So. The previous radio used to live down in the bottom section. Now I've moved it up to the top where the big fan used to be. Uh, that'll be fine. And for the time being, I'm running the single fan because I actually had to RMA the other fan. It was actually broken upon unboxing it. So uh, the stores replaced it, but I'm also waiting on fan grills because there's a lot of cables in that that live in quite close proximity to the, to the fans. And I don't want any of the fan blades catching on those cables or getting broken off or anything. Alright, so I have the fan blades in now, but they're actually, uh, for, for one thing, they're different than the ones I ordered, and there's also, like, more of them than I ordered, so, you know, I guess that's cool, but I was expecting another, a, a different type of fan grill. But, yeah, functionally they work fine, and uh, I've got the both fans installed now, and it's, uh, pretty much the same. I think they run a bit slower now, actually, it sounds like that, at least, um... Anyways, in the meantime, I've been just sort of setting up Windows again because I had to reinstall it completely just to, just because of the way it was installed in the old system. The old system was an old school BIOS, no, uh, no UEFI layer or anything like that. But because the new BIOS is a, it's one of those fancy new UEFI BIOS things, it's got all that sort of fast boot and all that sort of stuff enabled. So I had to do a fresh boot of Windows. It would have been possible to move my old installation over, but it wouldn't have had some features enabled, like, you know, Windows has lower lower level access to the hardware and all that sort of nonsense. So, and, you know, it's good to do a fresh install every once in a while. So, yeah, that's how I've, I've got it all installed now. I've just been trying to get as many of my old programs installed as possible, just so I can sort of simulate the sort of background workload that I had on my old system. Uh, you know, being that the system's so much more beefier and has so many more cores, uh, you know, that workload, like, it starts to take out take up a smaller percentage of my overall system power, which is going to look really good in the benchmarks, I think. 
So for performance, it's been a massive upgrade just across the board. Uh, stuff like games like uh, GTA, uh, I was running before at maybe 30 frames per second at max settings. Uh, now I can run it at max settings at a solid 60 FPS at 1080p. And something weird about the max settings I've found is that the actual fidelity of the max settings between the two systems is better on the new system. Stuff like uh, resolution filtering and like, a, no, not resolution, texture filtering. Texture filtering, uh, pop-in of objects and stuff has been a lot uh, a lot better on the new system. Um, that could be in part to, I'm actually running uh, my more commonly used games on an SSD now. Uh, just because I had a spare one laying around because of the uh, NVMe upgrade. See, so yeah, that's been a lot better. Stuff like uh, Overwatch used to stutter. I'd run it at 60 FPS solid, but it just stutter around the place when I'm moving. Uh, that's just been completely gone. Like, it, Overwatch just runs, you know, smooth as butter now. And that's just from the CPU previously holding me back. Um, just uh, all games, you know, I, I, I ran Bioshock, I ran, uh, you know, the Uni Engine uh, benchmarks and all that. Um, it's been a lot better across the board. As for productivity, I mainly use Photoshop for the stuff I do. I just have a hobby photographer. Um, yeah, Photoshop's just been amazing. Like, it's so much more zippy and fast, and I, I, I count that to the CPU difference, the RAM difference, and now the NVMe drive difference, which is, uh, I think, the main factor. And I guess the RAM's so much faster, you can just swap into RAM and that. Um, one thing I have been noticing is that I did go down from 24 gigabytes of, like, mixed RAM kits that was at 1300 megahertz to... Now I'm at 16 gigabytes at 2400 megahertz, but uh, I'm actually being starved for RAM quite a bit. Like, um, you know, part of the exciting thing with the new system is I'll be able to render a file and then go do some web browsing or something, but that's actually not something I can do at the moment just because I haven't got enough RAM. Because my renderer will be using all the RAM at once, and I'll be trying to I'll, I'll be trying to um, browse the web and my rendering will be going into page file, and that's no good, because that slows everything down. Uh, something awesome as well is my uh, my page file is now all on SSD. Uh, a bit of it's on the NVMe, and the other bit is on SATA drives. Um, so that's, that's really good. Um, as for Premiere, I really didn't finish talking about Photoshop. Um, I mean, Photoshop's just been awesome. It's been a lot more zippy, a lot more fast. But Premiere has been a massive difference. Um, First of all, just using the interface and stuff like that's been a lot faster. Um, I can now actually, um, previously I wasn't able to really use the live view. I could run it at maybe 1 16th resolution, but then as soon as anything was really going on, like uh, color corrections, uh, faster motion, stuff like that, it would just slow right down, drop heaps of frames, you know, it'd be like a little slideshow. But now it's actually really fluent, really uh, smooth, I can run it at full uh, full resolution at 1080p on the little monitor and preview it. Previously, how I would actually test effects and stuff like that, like test color corrections, is I would actually render out that part of the video and like wait like 15 minutes for it to render just to see if my color correction was quite correct. Um, and of course, I'm still learning. You'll probably see these videos all over the place. Um, I think it's mainly my filming needs to be more consistent. I'm not really on board with how to use my camera yet, like, it's not quite manual, but anyways, uh, Premiere, so it's been awesome, um, so just using Premiere has been a lot better, like, scrubbing through the timeline, the live view, and then rendering's been massively reduced, but I don't even need to render as much, because, you know, previously I was rendering between edits just to, to, to preview my progress, right, but now I can really only just wait till the end, and then if, if I do need to re-render, it's only... Uh, you know, half an hour, 15 minutes. Um, I did a basic test where I re-rendered um, my uh, work-in-progress version of my uh, tape footage, and it went from like an hour and 40 minutes to just 47 minutes or so. Uh, I'll, I'll put the actual numbers on the screen, but it was just a massive difference. Um, I forget what bit rate, bit rate I run it at, but it is the same bit rate between tests. Um, and the other thing now is that I can actually test, um, I can actually play around with After Effects now, which is a massive difference. Like before, After Effects was just like a, it was a mess, I couldn't really use it, um, nothing really previewed or anything like that, but now, uh, now, now I can do it. I've actually, uh, in this actual video, I 
uh, one, one of the first bits where I'm uh, just have all the hardware in front of me, that's actually got a denoising filter on it. And that was in After Effects, not Premiere. So I'm just sort of testing it out, still playing with it. It's in a new software for me, I've got to relearn it. Um, but yeah, it, uh, that's been a massive difference. And then also, uh, back to gaming, uh, one thing that has been different between the new system is uh, my streaming quality. So I use Steam in-house streaming, so I can stream between my laptop and then also my laptop set up at my bedside. So I've got a bedside TV and I can actually run Assassin's Creed on the computer but watch it over there and play it over there. So before my experience of that was really poor, like it would just be a, like a stuttery mess and then like it would be super, like um, what do you call it, super compressed like the image, like it would just, it looked like you're watching a crappy YouTube video. Uh, but now it's just been, it, it's like, it's like I'm running HDMI straight to the TV. Um, I'm not completely sure how the system works, like, because I know you can run a HDMI over Infinite, but I'm pretty sure it's more of a streaming setup how this works, but uh, it's actually something that's been usable and that's been a big change to my life. I can actually sit down and play uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag on the bed, which is really good. Um, I mean, that's why I got my Switch a bit, uh, originally, so I can do stuff like that. But now, now I can do like Wolfenstein on the TV, and I can I can play on the TV, I can play on the desktop, I can play on my bed. Uh, so that's been exciting. Uh, so I, I like talking about that because it's actually been a big change. That's something I couldn't experience before, but now I can. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with the system. It's, uh, I mean, I'm gonna call this my 10-year system at the moment because it's eight cores, 16 threads. Uh, the RAM's plenty fast. Um, while I am, I, uh, I forgot if I mentioned, but I am starved for RAM. Because... Alright, so yeah, the video's pretty much done. I've upgraded my PC. I've gone over some of the improvements from before. And yeah, this is my second real video that I'm going to upload. Um, and it's It's been fun. I've been trying to learn through trial and error, not really following tutorials for Premiere or filmmaking or audio production. Uh, but it's been alright. Um, I mean, this video had a lot of, a lot of problems. Uh, it also, it took a while to film too. Like from beginning to end, I've actually filmed other stuff in between that I'm gonna put together and edit and stuff and upload. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, uh, it's been fun. My PC's upgraded. Uh, check my Instagram out. That's where I'm most active, and I've got uh, pictures and that over there. Uh, but yeah, I look forward to more time lapses and. Look at some hardware, uh, just photography and computing's my main two hobbies. Uh, yeah. Alright, sick. See you guys later. Dude. Like, are you serious? That's how much dust is on there?